Did you know that Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania has their very own subway system? Well, we're gonna take a ride on it, and believe it or not, it's actually free. So if you're ready, come along with me. Welcome back guys and welcome back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania coming to you from the Steel City here and today's video is going to focus on something rather interesting at least to me. Upon coming here to Pittsburgh I did some research on things to see, things to do and being a big city like it is people depend on modes of transportation. Now just to list off a few a lot of people including ourselves here as tourists walk around on foot it's free and it's good exercise and gets you where you want to go in a fair amount of time. There's also obviously Ubers, Lyfts, taxis, there is buses, and Amtrak comes here as well. But we're focusing on a light rail train system called the T, the letter T. Now it's pretty important and significant because there's actually a free zone. There are six stations that you can ride completely for free as many times as you want, any day of the week, any time of day, there's no charge at all. We're here at the First Avenue station and this is the first one, you know, the farthest one. And it goes subterranean, underground, to four different stations, and rises back to the surface at the last one, the Allegheny Station. So we're going to ride the free zone today to show you what kind of entails it, what it's like, you know, what to expect, stuff like that. But this line, though, actually has a lot of historical value to it. Now, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, it used to be called Pittsburgh Railways. It was a streetcar system, trolley system here. There's actually over 60 lines that ran through the city and over 660 streetcars that operated here. Now up into the mid-1960s, they started getting out of service because of roads being constructed, buildings being built, people driving more, stuff like that. So it kind of became non-existent due to the change in times. The lines mostly got ripped up, paved over, built over, but there's still three lines in existence that are operated today by the Pittsburgh Light Rail T-Train. Those three lines, some of them date back to the early 1900s, as far back as 1903. This started in 1984 and has been running ever since. Now behind me here, going towards the next station, takes you underground through a former train tunnel. The train tunnel was built in the 1800s, became abandoned, and then became rehabilitated and now is used by the T-Train. Now the T-Train has three lines, red, blue, and silver. Depending on where you're going, is going to be dependent on which train you want to hop aboard. Right here, I believe, is the Silver, if I'm not mistaken, rolling in right now. And it is fully electric. It operates on a 26 mile section of the track, so it's a good distance. That's the red line, sorry. <laughs> There's red and blue are the common ones in the free zone. Silver does take you farther beyond. There is maps, there's a lot of information on the websites, but again, we are focusing on the free zone. Now, if you do go past the free zone, all you do is purchase a ticket at a kiosk, which are all throughout the city and inside the train stations for $275. No matter how far you're going, you are able to purchase a ticket, ride it for free. I'm sorry, ride it to your destination. But today we're focusing on the free zone, no tickets required, and we're gonna see what it's like from station to station. Now these trains also operate as two cars. There's two interconnected cars, one operator, depending on which direction it's going, is gonna be dependent on where the operator is sitting. All you do is hop aboard and it's actually digitized on a screen and uh, verbal announcements as to which station is coming up next. Now it is considered a subway because there's four stations underground. We are on the level, you know, street level here pretty much. And then it goes underground through the train tunnel. And then it actually goes deeper underground to the next four stations. And then it comes back up under the Allegheny River to the Allegheny Station. And there I'll show you what's accessible once we do reach that point. But I am pretty excited to share it with you guys because you guys know I love trains. Anything on two rails is interesting to me. And knowing that there is free transportation here in Pittsburgh is pretty incredible. I'm glad we found it. We've actually used it a few times now and I thought it deserved to have its own dedicated video. So you guys know what to expect if you ever come here or just want to know more about what other cities have as far as modes of transportation. So now that we got all the information out of the way, we are going to hop aboard a train coming up and obviously I'm going to roll as much as I can. It will be dark underground. We'll see a little bit of stuff here and there, but once we do reach the final station, I'm gonna get back aboard 
and get off at the Steel Plaza station. That one is pretty large, pretty expansive, reminds you of a New York City subway station. Once we get there, I'll show you that. That will conclude today's video and tour of the Pittsburgh light rail system known as the T. So if you're ready, let's hop aboard. Now we go into the former 1800s railroad tunnel to Steel Plaza, the next subterranean, the next station, first subterranean station. This actually makes some pretty sharp turns. Now we're ascending a little bit. Here's the next subterranean station, Wood Street Station. Wood Street. Gateway Station is next. I do apologize, it's not a great view. But it's so bright in here, so dark in the tunnels, so I'm just trying to show you what I can. You can actually follow this line on Google Maps on street level. It goes right under many of the streets in downtown Pittsburgh. There is a steel plaza. That's where the steel station was. And Gateway has a new kind of um, glass, I guess we'll kind of call it glass dome for the entryway from the street level. So you could kind of follow it on Google Maps. But the stations themselves are very easily marked when you're walking the streets. Making a hard right turn. There is the Gateway Station. Now 
Now, it's hard to see, but we are actually angling down. We're going down deep because we are going to be going underneath the Allegheny River. So we're going deeper than we already were to uh, go underneath the river. We got one more stop, and then we're going to come out to the surface at Allegheny. So one more subterranean station. But we are going down pretty deep right now. Actually, ears are almost popping. Now, if you notice that little machine right there, there's a little orange box. You would tap your ticket that you purchased to confirm your payment to ride. You can also pay cash with bills and coins. Here is the last underground station north side. In the distance, you'll be able to see daylight because we actually now are on the other side of the river. I'm going to come out on the top level. Right now we're going to go up almost like a roller coaster hill. Pretty steep incline. And Allegheny is the final stop heading in this direction. It does not go any further. Up ahead, there's actually uh, a couple sets of lines here with a bunch of switches. So they always have to slow down, wait for the switch to clear, and then they can proceed forward to get on the proper track. Basically, it keeps it clear for the coming and going train since this is a dead end. Every train that comes here has to come back the same direction. So we've arrived at the Allegheny Station. This is the furthest point that the T trains do ride. They do not go any further. It just dead ends up ahead. So every train that does come here has to go back the same direction. And depending on which line they are operating on, some of them go further than others. But this is the Allegheny Station and it gives you access to quite a few things here. Now, this may look familiar because in my previous video of our day one here in Pittsburgh, we actually were inside the Carnegie Science Center fantastic place to visit 
They do have the Requin submarine that you're able to tour. To the left here is Heinz. Got interrupted by a Port Authority announcement. On the left here is the Heinz Field. And to the far right is Rivers Casino back there. So if you're staying in downtown Pittsburgh, you'd want to take the T train, which is for free, to visit any one of these three locations. And there they go. That's the train we were just on. You can see the pentagraph tower and it has two cars connected to each other. And we have one approaching the silver line on the opposite side. And again, these are automatic switches, so it does it automatically to keep the trains clear and for no issues with them coming and going for the Allegheny Station. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here to capture some footage, and then we're gonna hop aboard one more time, take it back to the Steel Plaza Station. That is the biggest, most impressive, most beautiful, if you wanna call that, of all the stations underground at least. There, I'm gonna give you kind of a little tour inside because there's actually different decks to stand on to board different lines. I think there's three different lines that run through there. So you have different areas to access it with escalators, steps. That typically it does have food and stuff like that as well, but due, due to the pandemic it is shut down. So it's only open just for riding the T-train. But in the stations, on the trains, you do need to wear a mask. Once you do get off, obviously it's up to you to do that at that point. But Please allow passengers I think it's a great idea to have free transportation safe, here please hold all we'll wait for the stop again another thing to keep in mind too is that the t-train is not the only free mode of transportation port authority also operates the city buses and the buses actually operate in a free zone as well so if you do your research you could come here not have to rent a vehicle maybe not even drive your vehicle here and be able to maneuver about the city for free or minimal cost so keep that in mind it's good to know for people like myself who are coming here for the first time the steel city I say is a pretty awesome place to visit if you're on a budget because you can see a lot of things for free or travel for only a couple of dollars. So can't go wrong with that. Here's a great shot of the T climbing the hill coming into the Gateway Station. I actually have to board a different train here to go back just to show how much these trains do flex and bend and turn through some of the hairpin turns. There, look at that. That is pretty insane. Might not be coming through on camera, but trust me, that's turning a good degree.
next stop, north side. Going down, back underground to go back under the Allegheny River. And since we're here waiting for the next one, we are at the North Side Station. You hear they do a music playing, it is well lit. There are security cameras, benches to sit on, and up the escalator will take you to street level. Also shows the North Side Station is an area of refuge. I imagine it'd be pretty safe down here during a severe storm or anything that would be uh, kind of catastrophic to be on the surface. For YouTube, I'm visiting. I'm from the Scranton area. I love anything with rails, so I'm just filming you guys. So this is the Steel Plaza Station, probably the biggest, most impressive of them all for the subterranean stations. As you can see, they normally do have some type of coffee, food vending, stuff like that. Now it's just vending machines. Due to the pandemic, it is actually pretty spacious. There's numerous ways to get to the roadside or surface. There's steps over there. There's steps that go through there. So, I mean, depending on where you're coming from, there's numerous ways to get down here. There are, of course, the kiosk to get your ticket to travel beyond the free zone if you have to there is an atm machine it is well lit down here there is um schedules pamphlets stuff like that but depending on which line you're taking is going to depend it's going to determine which platform you want to get down to so when i boarded earlier i went to the far right side because i wanted to go that direction to the first av station now in the middle here trains will be coming in different directions so you could determine or decide which way you want to go depending on your destination now looking down there's actually a total of looks like four tracks two over here two over there and down here is kind of a middle island area but some of them are looks like out of service but we're gonna get downstairs give you a better view from down there and show you some train action as well Now I don't know all the ins and outs of to where like these other hallways, rooms, corridors go to. It probably is for staff, but this is probably the most expensive one, like I said. Now this section over here is closed. As we saw up top, the steps and escalator are blocked off. So I don't believe currently these lines are in use today, presently, but that may change in the future. But obviously it is open to the public normally. Here in the middle though is like an island. It's kind of the center hub of everything. And over there is another escalator and steps. So where we're standing now, the train 
would be going this direction would take us towards Wood Street, North Shore, Allegheny. From that side, we'd be going to First Avenue and to the uh, beyond First Avenue to the suburban area. That is the red line. And again, that's going to First Avenue and beyond over the bridge over the Monongahela to the suburban area. And this is a pretty busy hub. I mean, if you want to come just to watch these trains, Steel Plaza Station is the place to come. They come and go, you know, every few minutes. And like I said, when this section's open, there'll be even more. So it is limited for the time being, but I believe that will change in the future, but it still gives you a great look at this underworld, if you want to call it that. We're gonna catch one more train here. I'm gonna head to the surface and I will give you my final thoughts on today's video. And just like that, we are back in the surface street level here at the Steel Plaza Station. I first want to thank you for riding with me because I had a great time making this video for you. Being able to ride anything on two rails is a lot of fun for me. And hopefully the information I was able to share and to show you helped you learn something new. Maybe take some value out of it to understand what to expect if you come here to do some sightseeing, some touristy things, or visiting friends or family. Knowing that this is completely free within six stops and knowing that you can ride it for free, whether you need to get to a destination or want to do it leisurely like I did, I actually spent more time than I thought I was going to because I actually rode a couple different trains, going to the different stations, getting the different views, and hopefully made an entertainment worthy video for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I think there's a link to a website with some more information about the history of this, which I will share as well down below in the description. Otherwise, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.